Introducing Ned's plaque psoriasis. Ned, Ned, who are you wearing? He thinks his flaky red patches are all people see. Otesla is the number one prescribed pill to treat plaque psoriasis. Ned? It can help you get clearer skin and reduce itching and flaking with no routine blood tests required. Doctors have been prescribing it for nearly a decade. Otesla is also approved to treat psoriatic arthritis. Don't use Otesla if you're allergic to it. Serious allergic reactions can happen. Otesla may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Some people taking Otesla have depression, suicidal thoughts, or weight loss. Upper respiratory tract infection and headache may occur. With clear skin, movie night is a groovy night. Live in the moment. Ask your doctor about Otesla. It's in our very nature to seek the excitement of the unexpected, an endless yearning to experience what lies beyond the everyday. Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel is California's number one entertainment destination. See Red Hot Chili Peppers February 20th, Andrea Bocelli March 11th, and Keith Urban July 13th. Get tickets at yamavatheater.com. Must be 21 to enter. New York Times breakout fitness star Isaac Boots and how you can train with him in person. Plus, are you ready for a physical keyboard on your phone again? Hands on with a new gadget called Clicks in TechSmart. Monday. Good Saturday morning, everyone, and welcome to the KTLA Morning News at 8 a.m. I'm Megan Tellis. And I'm Lauren Lister. We thank you so much for joining us. Shaping up to be a great day here on our broadcast. Yeah. It is rainy outside, though, in it's parts wet. of our region. For some, region. yeah. For some, I just, and snow in the mountains. We have that's beautiful. Five. Snow. Uh, so I just peeked my head out the door here, and it's almost like there's a little bit of blue sky that wants to come mm. out. And we could see that today for several hours before the heaviest of all these systems does move through. But again, Inland Empire, Orange County, seeing a little bit of shower activity in the mountains as well. This is the camera that we just saw those little snow flurries on. Beautiful sight, and more of that to come for our mountain communities today and tomorrow. 56 in Santa Monica right now. It's 60 in Santa Ana, 54 in Chino, and 49 degrees in Lancaster. So coming up a little bit later, we're going to talk about how much rain we're expecting and the timing on it. But this is what we can expect for temperatures this afternoon. 60 for Riverside, 60 for Ontario, 63 in Long Beach, 61 for Oxnard, and 59 today in Santa Clarita. Back to you. We start this hour with a grim milestone for Southern California. Today marks one year since a gunman opened fire at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio in Monterey Park, killing 11 people and injuring nine more. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live at Monterey Park City Hall with more, or actually, uh, it looks like you are somewhere else. Might be yeah, the, the donut, donut shop. shop. Uh, you're talking about how victims are being remembered. Annie Rose, good morning. That's exactly right. Sorry to throw a curveball in there for you, Lauren and Megan, but we have actually moved to the Arcadia Donut Shop. This is where one of the people who was dancing inside the ballroom at Star Dance Studio, the moment that shooter opened fire, this is where one of them is and owns this donut shop. I want to bring in Shally and her husband, Francois. Thank you both for being here. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're having a fundraiser today for the community, but I wanted to talk to you first, Sally. Mm -hmm. We've spoken before. We, I, I think I spoke to you the day after the shooting happened you were inside the ballroom and tell us a little bit more about what happened that night that night uh, that night was uh, I think we go to the uh, star ball dancing at mm. that time I was dancing with my uh, partner Andy Andy Cow Mr. Nice Mr. is what you Nye. used to call <laughs> Mr. <us. laughs> Nice right I forgot Mr. Nice at that time you know we were standing in the middle and then we hear the the sound like a boom 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 you know I thought it's a fire the Chinese oh. firework. And after the people keep running, running on that, you know, like left, right, and we see that is not right. Yeah. And then yeah. that time I was, when they put another sound, that's why I tried to push uh, Andy all over to yeah. hide on the table. And then at that time we was look at, at the, from the table looking, we see the suspect come back and put it, loading his uh, bullet. Oh, at that time I was thinking, and he tried to talk to me at that time. I said, please don't say anything, just lay it down. And then after the suspect left already, I, 
I wake up him, Andy, Andy, he don't respond at, at Andy wasn't responding to you. Not at all. And then I see the other, my lady friend, I think, she, she, she was being shot at the, the next hour, close to us. You know, don't, Sally, don't laugh, don't laugh, you know. Don't let me alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I would say, uh, no, I don't let you, you alone. Don't leave me alone, because uh -huh, she was scared. Uh -huh. And at that time, my hands all blood. Too. Covered in blood. How the blood, I, I was yelling nonstop at that time. Yelling, yelling, what happened, what happened? And then one of my lady friends tell me, you're yeah, okay, you know how to yell. You're okay, but I yell like crazy that time. Well, how much you thought you were injured. And yeah, I thought I'd be been shot too, but you know, like you're scared, you yell mm -hmm. and stuff. And after, call the 911, call the 911, help us. That's why I pulled out my phone and called 911. And you realized, I know that, that you realized Andy was, mm. was dead. He was dead. Knocked up like, like this. Your dance partner for yeah. 15 years. Right. And then I would think, Andy, Andy was trying to call him, wake up him and like that, but he knocked out like straight like this. And I noticed here at the donut store, you have photos all over mm -hmm. the place of Andy mm -hmm. um, Cow, AKA Mr. Nice. Just to remember him? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, I still remember him. Francois, you knew and Andy as well, yeah? Yes, I knew Andy about three years before I married Tony because I don't dance, so they, they, they were dance partner for yeah. 15 years. So she told me, if you want to marry me, you have to agree to let me dance with Andy for on the weekend. And I told her... That was that, the arrangement of the marriage. Yes. <laughs> and I say, okay, let me meet Andy. So uh, when we, I met Andy, we become a very good friend. We eat together all the time. Sure. And like I say, also... When we bought this business, Arcadia Donut, Andy was the general contractor. Wow. So he oh, told us... And that's why you have all these all these photos up here of Andy, and you play yes. them every day. Yeah. We play for today, so only for special, today. Special Especially for today, for today. yes. Special for today. Yes. Yeah. One year later, one year later, and how are you guys doing? We are taking day by day, and uh, like uh, we say, like uh, Sally say, leave the present don't think too much about the past and uh, live at the present and making you feel better. Thank you so much to you both. Sally, I know that you started dancing again. We're so happy for you. Really quickly, we're going to pull up that information there about the vigil that's happening tonight over at Monterey Park City Hall. It's happening this evening. Everyone in the public is welcome. It is a free event. Reporting live, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. What a story. Annie Ros Ramos will be back with you in just a little bit. Now at 8, dramatic video from a house fire in Garden Grove. You can see flames bowing out of the garage there. Orange County Fire Authority arrived on scene and found an adult resident with severe burns. There was also a dog running back inside of that home. Firefighters quickly rescued the dog, treated and transported the resident to the hospital, and knocked down the fire in just 16 minutes. The cause of the fire still under investigation. And an overnight pursuit ending in a crash involving an officer in Boyle Heights. You can see both vehicles here on an off ramp. This is on the 5 North at Grande Vista. It is not known why Bell Police was pursuing the suspect. He was the only person taken to the hospital. The extent of his injuries are not known. Waymo is trying to expand its driverless car service in Los Angeles. The company, which is owned by Google, applied with the city's utility commission to expand its service. The license w from the city would allow Waymo to fully operate its fleet in Los Angeles. So far, the company's only been testing rides in L.A. by invite only. So far, city officials haven't responded to media requests for comment. Take a second here. Can you imagine this? A passenger flying aboard a spice jet airplane says he was stuck in the bathroom during his entire flight from Mumbai to Bengaluru. The flight lasted just under two hours. An airline spokesperson says there was a malfunction with the door lock, which is what caused the passenger to get stuck. And they apologize for the inconvenience to that passenger. I, I mean, <laughs> wasn't Spice Jet for that guy. What it was something the, else. What about the inconvenience to <laughs> the rest true. of the plane? Only having <laughs> one bathroom. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, how do you not hear someone like banging on the door to get out? Or is I it that they, they, out. they knew he was banging or whatever he was doing, making noise to alert them, but they couldn't open it? I mean, look, those what? airline bathrooms, like you they could put like that. a wrench, uh, not a wrench, a screwdriver in there and just like you would think. Yeah. It and open. those doors are so thin, you could just like kick it down. I know. I probably would have kicked it down. That's true. Would have kicked it down. I'd have been like, I'm done. I'm coming 
not one way or another. And if there's turbulence, forget it. Yeah. I'll make the turbulence, is what you're saying. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, speaking of making turbulence, making yes. waves, you know who always makes waves? Oh, I know where you're going here. You do? No. Is okay. Wendy Birch? Okay, that is a good <laughs> guess. Okay. Someone in your personal life. Oh. She is a firecracker. Grandma Lola? Grandma Lola is uh -huh. the matriarch of your family. Okay. And Megan, we know it is a special day for you coming up. Your birthday is Wednesday. Yeah, hi. Happy birthday. <laughs> what about Grandma Lola? We have a message from Grandma oh. Lola. Oh, my gosh. We wanted to know what advice she has for you. Stop for it. Your you birthday. got a hold of Jima. <gasps> we have a, listen to this. Hi, Neha. This is Grandma Lola, or Granny, as you call me. And I just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday and tell you how much I cherish all the special moments that you and I have had through the years. And I remember you being on a pageant.